I recently made a video that I have created my own website with Webflow and now I decided to move to Gatsby and in this video I want to talk about why. You know when I first started building out my uh, portfolio website I thought okay I don't want to spend that much time on it because I don't want to write up like all the markup and the CSS and, and these kind of things. It's just annoying right. I want something that works, I want something that looks good. And that's why I initially decided for, to go for Webflow. And now I made the decision to say, okay, I think I'm probably going to go with Gatsby. And the reason is actually very simple. Now, one thing up front. So both things like Gatsby and Webflow uh, are tools, right? And they are tools to achieve a certain business goal. So always keep that in mind. So it's not that one thing like Gatsby or Webflow is superior. I think it's just the case that Gatsby or Webflow have like different use cases. So I would say if you are in situation ABC, you use Webflow. If you are in situation DEF, you use Gatsby. That's just my upfront take. So there's no clear winner. Just in certain situations, I would pick different technologies. You know, building the portfolio site out with Webflow was like really easy because it was just point and click. So you don't have to bother with like all the markup. But after a while, I kind of found it a little bit too limiting. So I was like, okay, I can build like static sites out. I can export like the HTML. I can host it somewhere on Netlify. That's all cool. Um, but I was just lacking like the flexibility, you know. So if you're like a developer and you just want to have a a super custom portfolio website. I think that Gatsby is like a great way to go for it because you really have maximum flexibility. You can build whatever you want. You can have, you know, the blog posts, you can use MDX, uh, you can use like GraphQL with Gatsby. You can build all the fancy things, anything you want, right? Because it's it's closer to the code with Gatsby. And and that is just the reason why I decided to go from Webflow to Gatsby. Now, I do think that if you are a designer, if you are a freelancer, or if you're somehow working with clients, or you have a dedicated marketing team, um, which is not like technical, then I think overall Webflow is probably the best solution for the website. Because in case of the marketing team, like they can just use it on their own, so they don't need support by the tech department. They can do whatever they want to do, build their landing pages, do their search engine optimization, um, their AdWords, their A-B tests, and these kind of things. So that is all cool. If you have a dedicated marketing department, I would say Webflow is the way to go. Or maybe like a, a comparable tool. Also, if you're a freelancer, it's really nice because it's just very convenient to kind of deliver the project uh, in Webflow. And you can also make it super custom. Right. So as a freelancer, if you are a you know, freelance web designer, WordPress and Webflow, I think, are the way to go. But if you now say, OK, it's not so important, like how fast I am with this, but I want to make it like super custom. I want to have the maximum amount of flexibility. I think then Gatsby is really fantastic. And that is what I just want to look into right now. So I haven't done it yet, so I haven't built it out yet. I was just looking into Gatsby and I have to say it's a really uh, nice and neat tool. And to be fair, I haven't looked into the Webflow CMS simply because I didn't want to, to pay like a monthly fee for a website that will probably not have that much traffic anyway. So I thought, okay, I am just going to build it out with Gatsby. Yeah, that is what, what I would do. Yeah, so overall to sum up, I would say you're a freelancer, you're like an agency, um, you're like a, you have a marketing department, go with Webflow. Um, also, if you don't have time or let's put it like that, if you don't, before you don't have a portfolio, just do it with Webflow because it's quicker. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, also, if you want to know something, uh, send me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at uh, production coder. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.